Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome to RimWorld, where today we're going to get started on a new biome with a new plan. So to get a new biome, we're going to make a new map. Go one. Now nah, we'll make a make my own map. Oregon is cold because it is. It's cold here in Oregon. I don't know why. It just is. It's November tenth. No, it's November eleventh today, and it's cold. Oh wow! I can't actually use this map. The plan was to use a rainforest biome, but there is no rainforest on this map. It'd be dark green. All right, we'll try again. We'll try uh, Oregon is hot. There you go. Aha, here we have rain. rainforest. Excellent. And I wanted to go with a hills, not mountains, but hills. Mountains. Nope. Mountains. Nope. No, damn it. Mountains. Large hills. There we go. Sandstone and limestone. Temperatures look great. And the plan today is to have a large base. And I don't mean like a physically large base, although it probably will be physically large. Wow, our planet is called Ross Pulcherima. Our planet is physically large. I mean, uh, the base will probably be physically large. What I mean is I want to have a large number of people living there, like 25 or more. So we're going to head in as Cassandra Ruff. And I know people people in Twitch are like, oh, you got to play Randy Random, Randy Random. But I really think Cassandra is the best for me at this point in the game. All right, Large Hills, 4048. That's the one. Let's get in there. Oh, 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 we need to do advanced. Right, so since we're looking to do a large population, I'm going to go on a larger base size. And all you have to do if you want to have, not a base size, larger map. If you want to have a larger map, just come down here and you can pick uh, one of these two down here. The default is only 62,000 cells, and I'm going to go with double that. Well, approximately double that. So instead of 250 by 250, we're going to get an extra 100 tiles on each side. And we're going to start in March, so we actually have, you know, some nice, decent weather. Excellent. Let's go. So now we have to decide who we want to bring with us, and I should probably target people who like the heat, because it's going to be warm out there. So let's look for some heat lovers or heat tolerance. Although it's not absolutely necessary. Hard worker, bloodlust. What's bloodlust? Oh god, he's 87. Never mind. Cold tolerant. Nope, nope, nope. Dull prostophobe. Navy scientist. Eh, your stats are garbage though. Careful shooter, psychically dull. What's with all these cold lovers? This guy's pretty decent all around. We can have him do... He can, we, he can be our doctor. We can have him do crafting when he's not doing research. I'll keep him... For now. We'll call him a maybe. Okay, this guy is a soldier. He's incapable of mining and hauling. I don't like that. No. I do want someone who can shoot, though. We will need someone to hunt. Someone's hopefully with something like 9 or 10 skill. 6 is a little low. 4. 8. There we go. Neurotic. Mental break. Uh, No, I'm not willing to go with that. The problem is we wind up with people who have breakdowns. Like all the time. Steadfast would be amazing if we get steadfast on everyone. I'm just sick of mental breakdowns. Prostophile and a night owl, incapable of hauling and mining. You know, I would love to take you with me, but not with incapable of that shit. Gosh darn. There we go. Incapable of dumb labor and skilled labor. But he is sanguine. So if we only use him for hunting, then he's awesome. Permanent mood effect plus 12 is amazing. However, look at all this shit he cannot do. He can't haul, he can't clean, and he can't craft, and he can't mine. He can't farm. He can't build. This guy's just garbage. If he's not hunting, he's doing nothing. Very unfortunate. Come on, give me some good shooting. There we go. 27. Incapable of cleaning, cooking, or scary. So he can't actually shoot his gun. You like that? He's incapable of shooting his gun despite having 12 stats. Or 12 skill. Wow. What an idiot. 
Some, yeah, sometimes this, sometimes their childhood and adulthood will make them incapable of things that would normally make sense that they're able to do. Like I've had at some point someone who was like a scientist or something, but because of his childhood, he was incapable of doing research. So despite having like 15 research, he couldn't use it. Just, you know, little things like that that pop, that pop up. 78 years old. Get out of here. Incapable of dumb labor, which I believe is hauling and cleaning. But he can do a doctor. He can do research. Eh, I don't know. If we take this guy, I would swap out the inventor for something else. Anybody who's incapable of hauling and cleaning is kind of crap. I'm going to skip him. Incapable of plant work, which is farming. Artistic, which don't care. And intellectual, don't care. Night owl, teat toler, and heat tolerant. This guy could definitely work. The problem is, like, if he's not hunting, he would probably be used for maybe cooking. Or mining. Crafting. But he has no interest in cooking, mining, or crafting. Or construction. He's got no interest in it. Ah, that kind of sucks. Now I'm going to skip him. Ah, here we go. Except he's cold tolerant. Uh, no. Man, I'm being so picky today. 58, get out of here. 74. 25, incapable of cleaning, caring, and plant work. Slowpoke. Gotta skip it. I am being so picky, which is good. I'm glad I'm being picky. Normally, I'm not so picky. Come on, find me a good crew. 49 years old. No, too old. Very neurotic. Mental break threshold plus 12. Fuck off. No. Mental break threshold plus 12. It's the exact opposite of sanguine. 23 years old. Hard worker, cold tolerant, nervous. It can't do a lot of shit. Man, these people. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, but he's trigger happy. Which means he's 50% less accurate. Oh, well, he's not going to work for hunting, but I can use him for other stuff. This person looks pretty good, except being cold tolerant. Pretty good because he can do construction, crafting, mining. He's got an interest in all this stuff. Yeah, this is pretty decent. I'm going to keep him. We'll probably use him at some point. I don't like trigger happy, though. Shooting minus two is just a terrible drawback. But. Uh, that negative 50 to accuracy is terrible. I'm going to keep that on a maybe. I got two maybes already. All right. So if we have someone who's a researcher, and we have someone who's a hunter. We need someone who can cook. And that's really all we need is someone who can cook. Oh, no, no, no. Someone who can farm. I'm sorry. The cooking is not that big of a deal. And this guy, I mean, he's going to be farming. But we need someone who's got better than four skill. So let's go find a farmer. 54, get out of here. Farming seven. Ostafo depressive. No. Permanent mood minus 12. Fuck off. Five is too low. No interest. Six with interest. Green thumb. Teetoler. Yeah, this could work. The only downside here is six is not that much skill for someone with green thumb because it gives plus two. And it's not double interest. But it's nice that he has interest in shooting. And it's nice that he has double interest in cooking. So we could use him as our cook. That is tempting. But I'm going to skip him. Eight growing. Dull, prostophobe, trigger happy. Yeah, this will work. Especially that double interest in mining. That's going to be nice. Okay, so we have a farmer. We're going to call him Farmer. Temporarily. How do I miss the M key? Farmer. All right, so we have our Farmer. We have our Construction Specialist. We have our Research Specialist. Yeah, this crew could work. I mean, they're not great. But that could work. I think we go with it. I think we go with it. I'm a little upset about cold tolerant dude here. He's going to be upset all the time, especially if he's out hunting. If he's out hunting, he's just going to be massively pissed off. 
So this this guy could be a, a liability. The inventor, I think the inventor is okay. The inventor is okay. The farmer is definitely fine. Oh, I spelled farmer. Holy fucking shit, farmer! Wow, that Twitch chat's loving that. Yeah, farmer kappa. <laughs> farmer. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a better better shot. Let's see. 78 years old. No way. 20 years old, but only skill four. Heat tolerant. Careful shooter. You know what? I think we're gonna go with this guy. Incapable of nothing. He can do research when he's not hunting. Oh, you know, this could be ideal. Because hunting is something you need occasionally, not all the time. If I take this guy, then I think I can swap out the inventor for someone else. Maybe someone who's good at mining. Let's try that. I'm, I'm going to go with careful shooter here. I'm going to be my hunt searcher. Because you do hunt and hunting and research. Of course, he doesn't fit. Once you get, for some reason, when you're in the setup here, you can only fit in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can only fit nine characters in a name. But once you're in the game, you can fit like 20 characters in a name. They can be pretty long. Yeah, this guy is going to be fantastic. He does our research and he does our hunting. That's all I want him to do is research and hunting. So that's good. So I can get rid of the inventor here. Let's see. Mining five, crafting two. You could probably be our crafter if you're not mining and farming. In fact, that's, pretty, that's a pretty good mix. You're going to be farming most of the time. When there's no farming to be done, you can do crafting. Works for me. Let's find someone to replace this guy. All right, so what are you? Research 10, but that's not that important. Medicine 8, Medicine 7, Medicine 3. Yeah, this is a pretty good set of guys here. Maybe we should get a construction and mining specialist. Let's get a construction and mining specialist. So looking at those two stats, I want to see fire on both. Bingo, but you're 74. Fuck off. Come on now, construction and mining. You can do it. When it says randomize, it really does mean randomize. You have no idea what you're going to get. Now, there is a mod you can use called like careful preparation or something like that. I haven't tried it, but it lets you pick the stats for your characters that you want to bring. I'm not going to do that. I do like having some randomness. Here we go, 38 years old, incapable of researching, incapable of crafting, but he can do mining really well, and he's okay with construction, and he could be our guy to talk to prisoners. That's probably okay. What I don't like is he's cold tolerant, so he's gonna be a little bit upset about the weather, but if he's inside mining, it won't be that bad. Well, no, it could be hot when he's mining. Ah, whatever. I think he'll be fine. Dan. Minor Dan. Minor Dan. Okay, we have our farmer, our famrer, our hunter and researcher. And we have our miner. I think that's fantastic. Let's do it. Let's go do it. I'm glad that we wasted 15 minutes just, just getting this organized. Let's go see what our map looks like in the rainforest. Come on. Oh, don't crash on me, baby. There, it didn't crash. Good. Sometimes it crashes when you switch from uh, the menu into the actual game itself, but it didn't this time. Three of you awaken your crypto sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to this escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. Okay. We're here. All right, Hunt Searcher, you're going to get the gun. Who else has shooting ability? Shooting two, shooting zero. All right, but you've got a melee ability, so I'll give you the melee. And you can have the other gun, even though shooting two is kind of crap. Okay. Everyone's going to be a firefighter. Our doctor's going to be... Well, who's our best doctor? Seven, four... Three. All right, you're going to put that on four. You're going to put that on three. Uh, number one priority is doctor for you. I guess you can do two and three like that. Everyone's going to be flicking. Interesting that this bunch is also very, very social. Social 11, social nine. I'm just going to put you both on one. Social seven, that can be a two skill. They're very good at social, this bunch of people. 
Uh, don't need any handlers just yet. Oh yeah, what kind of what kind of pet did we have? We got a Labrador. Nice. His name is Dank. <laughs> Dank the Labrador. Oh my goodness. Hi, Dank. So we're going to get him trained up for rescue and hauling. But not just yet. I don't want anyone wasting time training a dog at the start of the game. Turn off cooking, turn off hunting. Just turn all this off for now. My mouse is making some weird noises. I better clean it or something. Speaking of cleaning, I'm going to put everyone on cleaning two and hauling two. So that'll be pretty high priority for them. And uh, we're going to put mining as a two. Farming as a two. And I think we'll start off with hunting as a two. Okay. Are we going to be doing any construction at the start? Probably. Who's going to do construction? Well, we have one person with interest. So I guess you're going to be my constructor for now. And my repair guy. Everyone can do repair. Plant cutting is important as well. In fact, plant cutting is probably more important than a lot of other things. Just because I really hate ordering people to do it. So I'm going to make plant cutting a number one. If there's anything to cut, they're going to go cut it. That's just cutting trees. Smithing, tailoring, art, that's all off. Cooking, don't worry about it. It's too early for cooking anyway. Let's look at our map. Remember, this is 100 tiles taller and 100 tiles wider than the normal map. So it's going to be, you know, physically very large. We have to decide where we want to build. Do we want to live in the mountain? Do we want to just build outside? The last base you guys on YouTube saw was in the desert. We built entirely outside. Uh, but on Twitch, oh, there's the ancient danger room, probably. On Twitch, we've been playing lots and lots. We played on uh, Tundra. Oh, good. Boomalopes. This thing scare the hell out of me. We played on Tundra. We played, uh, I've been playing on the ice sheet a little bit too. That That's tough. And we've played a little bit in the rainforest on Twitch as well. Wow, there's a lot of boomalopes here in the rainforest. So what does the rainforest have that something like the desert does not have? Rainforest has different animals here. Different dangerous animals. Like, um, I can find one for you. Am I just blind? I'm not seeing anything. Where are these guys? It's a little easier if we're unpaused. Anyway, I'm not gonna not gonna waste all the time looking for animals. But there are tortoises, there are monkeys. Monkeys are the small variety of monkeys, like you know, the size of your hand or something. They're, they're pretty small. Uh, they can't even be hit by deadfall traps. There we go. There's the monkeys. They cannot be hit by deadfall traps. There's also cobras. There's venomous snakes. Ah, right, here's a chinchilla. There you go. There's also cobras. There's one. And they cannot be hit by traps either. So keep that in mind. If you're used to your traps, you know, being useful, they're not going to be so useful on this map. Ah, capybaras. There we go. And this is like good meat source. There's alpacas. Still have the wild boars. Just a different variety of animals. Another chinchilla up there. So yeah, where do we want to build? Where are we anyway? Right here. So we could, we could just take this area right here, just extend this wall up, connect it over there, and just make this our starting area to live. Sounds pretty decent because this, see this brown here, this is rich soil. So there's our farm. There's also in the rainforest, you also have marshy soil, which is this dark green. It's not as good for farming. So if you want to do good farming, stick to the rich soil. You also have marshes like this which you can walk across, but they're slow. All right, so yeah, why don't we extend this wall here? We'll close off this right there and close off this and we'll have ourselves a starting room. It's gonna be a pretty big starting room. That's okay. Unforbid all this stuff. Okay, unforbid the medicine. I think we're good. There's a little more silver up here. Okay. So why don't we start off? Wait, where's the wood? Probably want to build with wood at the start. Because there's tons. There's the wood. There's tons of wood in a rainforest. So we should have no trouble cutting down some trees. In fact, I'm going to cut down a little bit of trees right now. 
Chop wood. There you go. Cut those down. So let's do that right away. Unpause. Everyone's picking up their weapons. And they're all chopping wood. Good. Speed three, go. They're going to sleep outside today, but that's fine. You can see the current temperature is 75, 76. Yeah, it's going to be hot. It's going to be hot. We're in the rainforest. And we have one person who is a cold tolerant person. They're going to be upset. There we go. So our miner is going to be upset unless she stays or unless he it's a dude, unless he stays indoors all the time. Raffle is over. Dead goalie, Wootenus, and Scrap. All right, cool. Dead goalie. And yeah, these are just Twitch subscribers. Dead goalie. Welcome abroad. Wootenus. Oh, Wootenus. Wootenus? Oh my goodness. I can't even remember these names. And Famrer. Who's our Famrer? Our Famrer is Scrapbox. Excellent. Get to work, everyone. So most of the, uh, all the animals will leave you alone, but when they go crazy, they're going to be a, a problem to handle because the venomous snakes, the cobras, they can be super dangerous. I'm not interested in you know having our people die. Oh, oh, are you sick? Crypto sleep sickness. Oh, it's gone now. He just had to vomit a little bit. It's all good. It's all good, man. All right, now that we have those trees going, why don't we go ahead and get a wall in place? Right about there. That's going to be way too big to support. So we need to build in some... Uh, why don't we get some doors? One there. One there. One here. And one here. But we also need some support so that this shit doesn't collapse. So why don't we put in a support right here? And I think that should do. The doors are going to be auto doors, just so they'll, once we have electricity, they'll be great. Uh, we don't have electricity just yet. Two colonists idle. Oh, are they, they're not set to construction? All right, I'll put construction on, but at a lower priority. So they'll at least do it. There you go. All right, so they got a lot of work done on the first day. They chopped down a bunch of trees. And they've built us an enclosed area. Are we indoors now? We're indoors now. Look at that. We have a roof. All right. So the next thing we need is some beds. Let's see if we can squeeze some beds in before it's bedtime. Probably not. It's already 19 hours. I just put a bed here. Another bed here. Another bed here. Another bed here. You guys want to get to work? Two beds in. One, three beds in. Nice. Four beds in. Excellent. Do we have any night owls? I guess I should have checked, huh? No? No? No. No night owls. Good. Well, we're off to a good start. Our little base. Nice. Probably going to have to chop up a whole bunch more wood. Oh, oh we need an animal sleeping spot for indoors. For our puppy. Puppy, come on in and sleep over here by Wootonicus. Wootonius. I'm never going to get that name right. Where is Scrapbox? Going for a walk. You're not tired? Why aren't you tired? Interesting. I don't know. Why aren't you tired? Well, let's go into bed now. I guess he wanted to get his joy up. That makes sense. 
All right, so in the morning, I'm going to queue up some mining. We can start digging out this steel right here. And I probably want to open up this because there could be something interesting back here. You can see the wall kind of curves in here and curves in here. It means this is an open area, although it looks like it's very small. Usually it's just a one tile thing. We'll take a look and see what it is. We'll mine that out, see what's behind that, that wall. We'll also mine this out. I'll leave a pillar there, though. And yeah. OK, so the next thing we're going to need is some type of research thingamahoo's it. Wooden research. So that's 75 wood and 25 steel. Let's throw that in somewhere. We're going to want a cooking stove once we get some electricity. We're going to want a butcher table. So let's put a wooden butcher table in here somewhere. Because we need to start hunting. I mean, like, we need like a food, food source of some type. Put the butcher table up. Well, where's the farm? The farm's here. So we're going to have the freezer here. Um... All right, if the freezer's here, then we'll put the kitchen right here. That should work just fine. And the cook stove, we don't need to build it just yet, but it'll go like right there. So let's plan out our wall for the kitchen. Is that the right size? Cook stove? Yeah, perfect. How many tiles is that? Six? So two, three, four, five, six, and then the wall. And then what else can we put in here? Maybe a flower pot. It's gonna be it's gonna be nasty in here. Make a nice little flower pot. Two flower pots and a bench. Two benches. No, just one bench for now. And a door. So we're gonna have a door that goes into the freezer. Probably two doors go into the freezer. One into the corpse locker and one into the uh, regular freezer. Um, just put a door there for now. And then a door into some kind of hallway. Let's put a hallway right here. Okay. We're going to queue up some more tree cutting. And I'm going to take my miner off of tree cutting. Because our miner needs to start mining out the steel. So miner... That is Wutanius. We're going to take him off of plant cutting. Put it down to plant cutting three. So that he won't do it unless there's nothing else to do. I should put him on plant cutting four. All right, get to work, folks. We can also use a dining area. It should probably go right here. So let's see, we're gonna have a hallway here. Get rid of that pillar. And how big do you want the dining area to be? I mean, that's a pretty decent size. We'll just do that. Need some doors though. Door into the freezer. And then door into the hallway. Probably right where the bed is. Get rid of this pillar. Get rid of this pillar. And just building out of wood right now is fine. Okay, the kitchen's coming together. Let's get a dining table. Start with a small one. I'm going to just go with stools for now, because the uh, chairs use 60 wood, but the stools only use 15. So let's use a little less wood here. We can put in more wood later. We're going to use ch better chairs later. Hey, it looks like you're going to stay here a while. Wutan Wutanius is suggesting that you give the colony a name. Lepanto. No, no, no. Fuck that. It's going to be... 
Jungle City. And it is going to be a city. We're going to have a huge pop here. Unless we all die. Okay, get rid of this pillar. Alright, we need to start farming. So I'm going to get a farming zone out here. God, there's so much nice soil out here. It goes all the way up to here, doesn't it? Yeah, rich soil. Wow. That is a huge deposit of rich soil. Deposit. Just nice farmland. Let's make a 7x7 of potatoes. Make another 7x7 of rice. Another 7x7 seven seven of corn. And some strawberries. Probably don't need that many strawberries, but whatever. And then near that, we can put the syrigium, which is what heals you. Or it's the uh, herbal, what's it called? Herbal medicine. Won't need too much of that. I guess I'll do a 3 by 14 or something. No, it's just 7 by 7 Zerygium. And then I'll put some cotton next to that. And the cotton we're going to be using for some clothes. Cowboy hats and dusters. Keep the heat off. Uh, where are you, cotton? There you are. Okay. Well, our farm's ready to go. And there's still tons of rich soil up here. We could even do some devil strain if we wanted. All right, so we're going to have someone dedicated farming. So basically, if there's anything to repair, if there's anything to cut, he'll cut plants. And then if there's anything to repair, he'll do that. And then he'll do farming. And then he'll do hauling and cleaning. That's fine. Our miner is still set on construction duty because he's the best at it. Uh, but when there's no construction to do, he will mine, which is good. We might take his construction down one notch, so he'll only construct if there's no mining to do. That's a possibility. Uh, but Dead Goalie, the teacher, is still set on nothing because we're not hunting yet. But we will be hunting soon enough. All right. Why don't we end this first episode here? Thanks for watching, guys. I've been Shen. You've been you. Jungle City is off to a good start. Uh, I need to put this bed down again. Where did the bed go? There's the bed. Oh, it's an awful bed. Uh, just, just put it down here somewhere. Whatever. We'll put in some private bedrooms down here, put in a crafting area, probably over here, and then we'll close this area off. And I want to put in some, what do you call it? Uh, up, 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 up. Indoor inventories. I want indoor inventories. I also want to put in some defenses out here, maybe add another wall around our farm and put in a whole bunch of turrets here. This can be our main defensive area for the west side of the base. And then maybe we wall this off here and make this our main defensive area for the east side of the base. Because we're going to need two defensive areas. Yeah. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Have a good day.